the following steps, we're going to create a new virtual machine, so you can experiment with it without wasting a single penny. Download VirtualBox, a computer emulator inside your computer. Once you download VirtualBox, the installation process should be automatic with only a few interactions. If you have any problems, contact us. Same as when a new computer is built, an operating system has to be installed to start making something useful with it. And that's what the next step is all about. Run VirtualBox. You installed it in the previous step and select continue in the first screen. Give a name to a new virtual machine, for example, my Linux. Select operating system, Linux. Version, Linux 2.6 and continue. Select the recommended amount of memory and click continue. On virtual hard disk, make sure that boot hard disk and create new hard disk are selected. On the following screen, press next and on the following one, make sure you leave dynamically expanding storage checked so that your virtual machine only takes as much memory needed, no matter how much space the disk is set on the next step. Select your virtual machine and select the amount of space that your disk will have. You can leave it at the default setting, press continue. The next panels are informative and you can skip them by pressing continue and done to finish. Download and install Linux on the VirtualBox. Like Windows, there are several versions and distributions of Linux. Let's start with a simple version to get playing as quick as possible. Download the ISO file for Linux. It should take about 120 megabytes and several minutes to download. You should now have a new virtual machine in the virtual box screen options. Just like a real computer, you need to power on and install a fresh OS. Select the start option. In the first front screen, localize the Linux installation, in this case, it's the ISO file you downloaded in step 2. Click on the small folder icon at the right and a new dialog window will open. Proceed to browse the ISO file. When found, select it and click open. Linux installation will require you to choose several options and pressing return. For our example, it is okay if you select the default values.
Once you arrive to the main Linux screen, it's time to play. Linux is an excellent operating system to learn about other possibilities in the information technology field. No matter if you use it for Android development or simply to experiment with a whole new world of possibilities that open source has to bring us. The Linux distribution we recommend you try is Ubuntu because it has integrated tools that allows a more comfortable experience with easier configurations and free software.